Hi dancers, how are you? I'm Miss Julie and I'm really excited to share a dance class with you today. I've brought a friend with me. This is Mr. Bear. When I was a little girl, I used to collect bears. So this is the friend that I chose today uh, to help me with dance class. I would really love for you each to find your own stuffed animal friend. Could be a little smaller than Mr. Bear, could be a little bit bigger, uh, but it should be squishy and soft. And uh, you should be able to hold him or her in your hands, okay? Mr. Bear is going to help me a little bit later when we introduce our concept or our word of the day. Uh, first, we're going to do brain dance together. And I'm going to have Mr. Bear sit and watch me do brain dance, and he'll be back in a little bit. Find a safe space, dancers. Take a look around. Make sure there are no edges of tables or chairs that you might run into, okay? And we're, we're going to start our brain dance in self-space. Okay, here we go. Let's feel our feet on the floor. Good, let's float our head up like we're in a cloud. Feel our body nice and long and ready. Take a big breath, breathe in. Oh, 
rotate like you're looking all around the space. Good, friends. Let's find a shape. Let's find a shape with our lower body. So our waist to the floor is going to make a shape. I'm going to make a shape with my feet apart. Now I want to see if I can move my arms and my torso and my head all around. Your dance does not have to look like my dance. It can look different. Use your breathing. Your legs are holding their shape and your arms and torso and head are moving. Good dancers. Okay, now can your arms make a shape? Okay, so I'm gonna make a shape with one hand by my head, one hand on my waist. Now my legs get to move, but my arms and my torso do not move. My legs can do all kinds of things, but my arms and my torso stay the same. together again. Awesome friends. Let's do body side. Let's start in first position and let's just reach our body side, arm and leg, bring them back in for a nice bend and stretch. Other side, reach arm and leg together, bring them back in for a nice bend. Good. Again.
that you make. And then let's put both of our feet back on the floor. Really stomp it out so we feel that we're nice and grounded after our spinning. Nice job, dancers. Great job. Okay. Let's take a look at our concept for the day. Okay, Mr. Bear is going to help me. Here he is. Mr. Bear can hold our card. And our word is relationships. Okay, we have so many different kinds of relationships when we're dancing. We can be over. Do you see right here, this picture? What is the man doing? He's jumping over the moon. That's right. Or under. Do you see this picture here? I'll make it bigger. There's a, a boy and he is sitting under the tree. Okay. Oh, I like this one. Around. Look at all of these friends. They're all around the world. How about the last one? Can you tell me what's this last one? Where is the apple? Where is the apple? That's right, the apple is between the boxes. The apple is between the boxes. So those are the four words on this card, under, over, around, and between. And there are other words as well words like beside. Right now, Mr. Bear is beside me or near and far, which we talked a little bit about last week. So far, Mr. Bear is far away or near, Mr. Bear is near. And I can also be far away or near in my own body. We're going to do a little exploration um, with different shapes um, and, and dancing to different music with those different shapes. I'm going to have Mr. Bear help me show some of these relationships. For example, Mr. Bear could be over my head or Mr. Bear could be under my arm. Mr. Bear could go around my torso. Mr. Bear could go through my arm. Mr. Bear could go on my knee. Or Mr. Bear could go under my leg. <laughs> There's lots of ways you can try to create those patterns with your friend that you're dancing with today. All right, we are going to use some music and I'm going to give you some ideas of ways that you can use those relationships in your dancing. The first one we're going to do is um, arms around. So you could take your arms around your body in the front, or you could take your arms around your body in the back, or one arm in front and one arm in back, either direction. The rest of the dancing is up to you. It's your choice what you want to do with your movement. When the music changes, I will give you a new direction. Okay, friends, are you ready? Here we go. Foot near your knee. Can you dance with your foot near your knee? Above your 
your head. Can you dance with your hands above your head? knees. Okay, let's put those elbows on our knees. How can we dance with our elbows on our knees? We have to get really creative, friends. Awesome job, everybody. Okay, let's try our fingers far reaching. They have to stay far reaching. Fingers apart. job dancers awesome yay you can use all different kinds of body parts in relationship with each other and make all kinds of dances all right we're going to use our skills and our friends that we brought to class today and make a dance with those skills okay here we go mr bear is going to come out with me and we are going to start with our friend in front of our body and then to the side, back to the front, to your other side, front, the side, front, the side. Let's add to this our demi plies. Friends, find your first position. Find your friend in your hands. You're still nice and tall and lifted. Good. And let's take a plie and straight. Friend to the side, plie and stretch. Back to the front, plie and stretch. To the side, plie and stretch. Good. Now your friend will go around your body, around your torso. That's the middle part right here is your torso. Okay, let's try again. Around your torso. Good friends. Then you get to go around with your friend. Releve rise and Turn, turn, turn on releve. Beautiful, friends. Then lift your friend above your head, above, and one more time. Turn, 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 turn. And then your friend, you can take a curtsy here, will go low or under. And you can even step over your friend. So for a moment, your friend is under your feet. Okay, friends, let's try that one more time. Demi plie and straight. Demi plie and straight. Demi plie and straight. Demi plie and straight. Around. Relevant. 
and around. Front goes above and around. Front goes under. You step over. Good job, friends. The next section is for you to skip far from your front, two, three, four, and skip back near your front, two, three, four. You can move in any direction and you can certainly turn around to come back. So I could skip over here, two, three, four, turn around and come back to my front, two, three, and four. Then we will chasse around our front. Chasse one, two, three, four. Turn around and go the other direction with your other leg. One, two, three, four. Now we can run and jump or run and leap over our front. So I'm going to step and jump and you could try jumping backwards or turn around and do a different kind of jump or a different kind of leap over your front. Lastly, pick up your front and make your own shape. Very nice dancers. Let's do it one more time without music and then we'll try it with some special music, okay? Find your friend. Okay, so glad they could dance with us today. Demi plie, straighten. Demi plie, straighten. Demi plie, straighten. Demi plie, and straighten. Around. Everyone, releve, around. Friend goes above. One more time around. Friend goes down and you go over. Skipping away. One, two, three, four. Skip back five, six, seven, eight. Chasse one, two, three, four. Other way, five. Six, seven, eight, and a big jump over, or a big leap over. Find your friend, make a shape. Good dancers, very nice. Should we try it with music? Okay, let's do it. Good job, dancers. Very nice. Awesome. Should we try it one more time? Okay, let's do it one more time. This time I'll say the words, okay? Ready? Here we go. Plie. Straight. Plie. 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 Around. Relevé. Above, relevé, turn. Low level, under, skips. Two, three, snap hop, and back. Two, three, four, chasse. One, two, three, 
push up, stay other way. Two, three, four, jump, over. Leap, over. Yay, nice job everybody. All right, good. You can make all kinds of dances at home with all kinds of friends. This might be mom or dad, or brothers and sisters, or like Mr. Bear here, some of your stuffy friends. Um, you can do all kinds of dances. You can use more than one to create a little obstacle course and continue thinking about, I'll show our card one more time. Mr. Bear can help me here our relationships of under, over, around, and between. Okay, all right, friends. Let's look at some of our ballet skills uh, in the center. We'll do those together. Um, most of you will know the ballet skills as I say them. Please just follow along and do your very, very best, okay? Say thank you to your friend that helped you today. Thank you, Mr. Bear. And put your friend down and let's try some of our ballet in the center. Here we go. Okay. Let's find our legs in first position, arms in first. Demi plie and stretch. Demi plie. Releve rise, releve rise, and arms over our head, arms open, lift. Good, let's bring our hands to our waist, find our second position, feet apart. jump a little bit let me show our jumps first before we do that okay all right let's start in our first position and we'll jump one two three four sautés in first position sautés in first position then Asia pay do you remember Asia pay could you show me that's right Asia pay jump open to second Jump close to first. Okay, Aisha Pei, you can use your arms if you want. 
jump open to second, jump close to first, jump open to second, jump close to first. We'll do it two times, okay friends? Here we go. Okay, wonderful. Let's take a moment um, and take a little breath. Everyone take a breath together. Mr. Barry, I'll take a breath too. <sighs> All right. And we are going to switch to tap. My friends that do tap, um, I will give you a moment to go put your shoes on. You can ask mom or dad to pause the video while you put your shoes on. Um, for my friends who do not do tap, you are most welcome to try it. Um, and you are also welcome to um, say goodbye at this time, maybe do a freeze dance or a free dance at home with some music that you really love, okay? Thank you so much, friends. We're gonna switch to tap. My friends that are tappers, you can wear your ballet slippers. Um, you can also wear socks. You can wear um, maybe a pair of inside shoes. And if your mom and dad say that it's okay, you could wear your tap shoes. I'm not going to wear tap shoes um, because they can hurt your floor. They can scuff your floor and make it not so nice. So I'm going to wear some inside shoes that do make a little bit of sound. Okay, so we have a little bit of sound to play with. Okay, so everyone, let's say goodbye for our, our ballet, our pre-ballet part of class, and we'll take a moment to put our shoes on. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, friends, I've got some dance shoes on. I'll show you. They're made for a jazz dance class. They do have a little bit of a harder sole, so they will make a little bit of a sound, but they're not top shoes, okay? So it's okay whatever kind of shoes you're wearing. We just wanna practice our steps together and have a little fun with that, okay? All right, we're going to start with some toe taps, what I was just doing, and then we will work on our shuffles and all kinds of shuffle variations. Shuffle hop step, uh, shuffle toe back, shuffle ball change. Um, and then we'll look at a couple other steps as well. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. All right, let's do some toe taps to the front.
shuffle. So you go shuffle, step. Let's add a clap. Shuffle, step. Other foot. Shuffle, step. Back. Shuffle, step. I'm gonna show it from the side. Shuffle. everybody. Uh, let's do a couple more starting with a cramp roll. Okay, so I'm going to show from the side. We have four sounds. Toe, toe, heel drop, heel drop. Toe, toe, heel drop, heel drop. Toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel. Let's try it together. Ready? We'll start slow and then we'll pick up the tempo. Five, six, seven, eight. One, three, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Last time, slow toe, toe, heel. Heel, a little faster. Toe, toe, heel, heel. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Last time, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Yay, shake them out. All right, good, good, good. Okay, I want to talk about a new step. It might be brand new, so this could be your challenge for the day. Okay, friends? Challenge for the day. It's called paradiddle, and it has four sounds. Paradiddle. Okay, paradiddle starts with a toe back. So I'm going to start with my right leg and do toe back. That's the first sound. Then I scuff that foot. Scuff, just like I'm doing a shuffle, but it only goes forward. Then I put my toe down, 
then my heel. That was four sounds. One, two, three, four. I'll do it without talking. Okay, pair a diddle. Toe back, scuff, toe, heel. Now I can switch to my other leg. Toe back, scuff, toe, heel. Switch legs. Toe back, scuff, toe, heel. Toe back, scuff, toe, heel. All right, let's try it just with a nice easy tempo. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Again. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice job. If that's your first time, awesome. Awesome job. It's called, one more time, the paradiddle. Paradiddle. And you can practice it this week, and maybe we'll revisit it again for a future class, okay? Friends, I would love to end our class today with a little bit of stretching. I think that's really good for our bodies right now is to do some stretching. So I'd like you to take a moment to find a towel or a rug, or if you're already on carpet, that's great. You can just stay on the carpet um, or a yoga mat. Maybe your dad or mom has a yoga mat. So just take a moment. You could pause the video. Um, I'll take a moment to get my yoga mat, and I'm going to bring Mr. Bear with me for today, um, and we'll do some stretches there, okay? All right, here we go. You can take your shoes off if you don't want to wear the shoes you were wearing anymore. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll put on a little music for our stretching. Okay, let's find ourselves on the mat. Our head and over to our leg. Your eyes. 
eyes are down, friends, and you're taking deep breaths. You're doing such a good job with your stretches. Good, come back up, and let's reach both legs forward. Arms are still above our heads. Shake them out, reach them high. Something up there we're trying to reach. And let's take our whole body fully forward. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and out. Good, come up. And let's bring our legs to second to a straddle. Good, friends. Next class.